ahead of the 2024 Lok Sabha polls, the BJP and the JDS are set to join hands. Senior BJP leader and former Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa has confirmed the development. Remember, there has been a strong political buzz about the alliance ever since both parties lost out in the Karnataka polls. Yadurappa said JDS Supremo H.D. Devi Gauda met Prime Minister Modi and they have even finalized four seats. Meanwhile, Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharamaya reacted, dismissing the development, saying the Congress will not be affected by the alliance. JDS are making an alliance. How, how, how do you see this? How do you see the alliance? I'm happy about that. Devi Gauda ji met our Prime Minister. Mr. They already they have finalized about four seats. Four seats. For that I welcome them. JDS and BJP are all headed for an alliance now ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Are you viewing this as possible trouble for the Congress party? I don't think there will be any trouble, but uh, I could read uh, Mr. Uh, Devagoda, uh, who is the president of the party, uh, telling that he will fight all the seats to keep his party uh, intact. Because there are a lot of uh, possibilities within the party that they may not... Uh, uh, come to understanding on the local issues. I have been, uh, the, some of the various leaders also are speaking to me on that uh, issue. But the worker has to gel, no? Mm -hmm. The leaders can gel. Mm -hmm. It is the workers and the vote base which has to gel. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it may find difficult for them to keep the party intact, that is what I, is my understanding. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as Congress party is concerned, <laughs> let them all join together. Whatever they wanted to do, it is left to them. I could see uh, immediately, we all fought to see save uh, Kumar Swami government earlier. Mm. Now Kumar Swami joining hands with BJP mm. to remove or fight against uh, Congress. It is their political strategy. We don't want to involve in it, mm. but we wish them all the best. That is what I can tell them. Sir, do you see the BJP making a mistake somewhere, sir? We've seen what happened earlier as well. The JDS has had an alliance with your party, with the BJP as well. It didn't end well for either. No, let the experience themselves. Only experience makes man perfect. Let the experience well, sir. We are, we, we are not bothered, but we are fighting our election on our own. Let me go across to my colleague Neha joining me over the phone lines. Neha, we did hear all those political reactions, but give us a quick sense of what you're picking up in terms of these seats. We do understand that BJP does not want to let go of a seat like Chikbalapura as well. In fact, you know, we're seeing that even as the uh, BJP, of course, you know, has gone on to now announce an alliance over there with the GDS for the upcoming Lokasabha election. It's really going to be quite interesting to see how this pans up. We've heard from the, uh, you know, of course, from the Congress officer, which doesn't have lion's share of seats as far as Lok Sabha is concerned. Well, they've said that, you know, whatever alliance, of course, go be on the car will not really affect them. And this is important now because, you know, of course, we're trying uh, to assess ahead of the Lok Sabha elections what the mood is like, whether it's in Karnataka or otherwise. And uh, more so, of course, the fact that this is going to be, uh, you know, it is, of course, going to be the INDA alliance versus BJP. So we really have to wait and see how this pans out. But definitely an interesting turn of events, of course, over here in the state of Karnataka. Absolutely, Neha. And uh, leave it to Karnataka to have twists and turns as far as politics is concerned.